Today, I'm going to walk you through one of the most important resources that you will encounter in the health sciences, that is PubMed. So PubMed is a massive platform. It has roughly 30 million articles in it. It spans a number of different databases. It's kept up daily by the National Library of Medicine. If you're going to do research in any biomedical discipline at all, you need to know how this platform works. And I'm going to show you how to do the basics right now. Okay, first, the way to get to PubMed. Click on Databases A to Z. Once there, go to P. Scroll down, hit PubMed Medline. So far, so good. Now, the first thing we want to do, decide if we want to search PubMed Basic, search PubMed Advanced, or search the Mesh Database. See my other video on the Mesh Database for how to go about doing that. For now, we're going to choose Advanced. This gives us more control over PubMed's functions. Okay, we'll start with a simple search term. Let's go with public health. And so we're looking at a whole field of information here. You can choose to put this in quotation marks. You can choose to leave this outside of quotation marks. It's up to you, but because it is two words, you want to be able to contextualize it for the database somehow. And in this case, we'll leave it like this. We'll let PubMed do the work because PubMed has gotten quite good at determining what our search needs are over time. That's one of the things that makes it an important database for us. So not only do we want pub, public health, let's look at public health as it relates to cancer. And we're going to choose and. These are all basic search terms. These are super simple. Anybody can use these, right? This isn't really complex terminology. The third term we're going to use, let's go with patient education. And we'll click and, and we'll search. I only have 54 results to look at now. That's exciting. Let's look at this. Decision aids for people facing health treatment or screening decisions. That sounds perfect. Let's click on it. All right, now we're in the citation page. You'll see the date, the title, not the date. That is clearly not a date. That is a date. You'll see the abstract, cool. You know what else is important that you can find here? how to actually access the full text. You can get it from any of these three sources. Best bet, PMC free full text. You can access this anytime, anywhere, regardless of whether you're a student, faculty, or just like some rando who likes PubMed. You can also click on it from the database that it originally comes from, or you could search for the full text at NAU library. Any of these study options will do. Again, choose PMC if it's available. You can cite the source. How cool is that? You don't have to worry about learning citation anymore. You're lucky you. You can share this on Twitter because that's what people do with research articles now is share them on Twitter. You can look at all sorts of external extraneous information, supplementary materials. You can look at similar articles. This is one of the best things about PubMed. It's very smart in this way. It can often show us right to articles that are very closely related to the one we originally searched for. You can look at the articles that have cited the article that you are looking at. This is also useful because it shows you that you can go this way or that way in time and co connect with basically a whole conversation surrounding a very specific subject in this case, cancer awareness. You can look at the publication types. This is a meta-analysis in addition to being a systematic review. You can look at the mesh terms associated with this particular article, and you can link out to further information. All options available in this totally free platform. The last thing you can do for yourself here is you can email the citation straight to your email inbox so that you have it whenever you have to write a paper and you'll never remember to see it again. I think that covers it.